Meanwhile, the Syrian army continues to advance in the Jobar area, east of the capital Damascus. Nearly two-thirds of the area is under the Syrian government's control. Jabar is one of the strategic districts for the militants, as they've tried several times in the past to use it as a gateway to invade Damascus. Presley's Muhammad Ali tells us more. This is the flashpoint town of Jobar, east of Damascus. Press TV accompanied the Syrian army to the heart of the town. An armored vehicle is essential to avoid sniper guns. Civilians do not exist anymore, as they fled months ago after the militants occupied the area. Their return seems impossible, as the neighborhoods have turned into debris. This is a living room of a house, the residents of which will never be able to return back. The army said the major part of Jobar is now under the Syrian Armed Forces' control. 70 to 80 percent of Jobar is under our control. The rest is under our gunfire. There are no civilians in Jobar. They all left to secured areas. In Jobar, there is now only armed men. Some of them are Syrians and many others are foreigners. They have various kinds of heavy machine guns and snipers. Al Muwasalat building is one of the places where army units are positioned. Previously, armed men were trying to take control of it. They even tried to make a way underground for that. This is one of the main tunnels that the foreign-backed militants dug in Jobar area. As you can see, it is so large so that they can bring with them their heavy machine guns. The aim was to reach the Syrian army forces and attack them. The rubble heavily covers every street, a sign of ferocious clashes. Signs intended to guide the militants are still covering many walls as the majority are non-Syrians and are not familiar with the area. Some of the barricades they set were also still in place in narrow and tight alleys. The front lines are now near the squares of al manashir and al barlaman I am positioned near the police station of Jobar. Currently, the main confrontation area is around Al Barlaman and Al Manasher squares, where there are strategic high buildings. We killed many militants. Most of the time, they clash with us and then escaped back to Zamalka and Interma. The militants identify themselves and brigades by their signatures on the walls. This is also the sports stadium which the army regained. Inside Jobar is a hidden place the insurgents used for setting car bombs and sending them to the capital. The Tower of Al-Mu'allimin remains the strategic tall building close to secured parts of Damascus, which militants sneak into for using their snipers and attacking both the army and civilians in Al-Abbasin Square. Hamad Ali, Press TV, Jobar, Damascus.